A family in Lawrence County is mourning the death of a loved one who died of coronavirus. The man's grandson, who was also his caregiver, wasn't allowed in the hospital and had to say goodbye in a heartbreaking way. Jennifer Barrasso talked with that man tonight, and she's live with more. Jennifer, such a sad story. It is indeed. This story is about dying alone. This is a harsh reality in this coronavirus pandemic. Now, Joseph Hammett said his 88-year-old grandfather had renal and heart disease and diabetes. Last week, he fell and landed in the ER and later tested positive for COVID-19. And Hammett said he couldn't see his grandfather. He said goodbye over the phone. Joseph Hammond and his grandfather, Eugene Frank, shared many special moments together. Their bond was tight. For the past decade, Hammond lived with and cared for his grandfather, known as Pop. He was just an unbelievably kind and wonderful person who, um, who lived his life the right way. On March 25th, Hammett's grandfather fell in the shower and was rushed to the ER at UPMC Jameson in Newcastle. Doctors admitted Frank because of pneumonia. The next day, Hammett was surprised to learn his 88-year-old grandfather tested positive for COVID-19. At that point, Hammett couldn't visit him. He said it was gut-wrenching. I wanted to visit him, um, but I was not allowed to because of... Obviously, it's a very contagious disease. You have a feeling of helplessness. It was completely heartbreaking. Um, it was completely and utterly heartbreaking. A heartbreaking reality in this pandemic. Hamid's grandfather was dying alone in a hospital bed, and there was nothing he could do. So you're just completely shackled, and you don't have the ability to uh, be with a person in their time of need. Shortly before his grandfather died, Hamid got to say one last goodbye. Thanks to a nurse, she used her cell phone and FaceTime Joseph. I got to say what I I wanted to say to him and tell him how much I love him and how much he meant to me. I wish I knew her name. I wish I could. Uh, I, I wish I could do something for her right now. Because if I hadn't been able to have that conversation uh, with him, um, I, I would have regretted that for the rest of my life. And Hamid is grieving alone. He is quarantined until April 9th. He said that he tried to get tested for the coronavirus, but a doctor told him he doesn't have enough symptoms. The family will mourn the grandfather later this year. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK News.